Hey everybody, Solar Warlock coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Today we'll be playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Yes, this game is epic, and I always forget that I have the wrong buttons in control. And hang on, just gotta answer text. Alright, now that we can get on with the game. Now, why I'm playing this is because my internet crashed, so I have, like, no other projects for you guys right now. Uh, and I can't do, like, my whole Kirby thing because I use the internet to help me find the hearts. So it's like, well, that's gonna suck. So, yeah, while my internet's down, because if we don't pay our Shaw bill, like, right away, they literally kind of like chop it at the end of the month like it's the 30th today the they interrupt it for like an hour or two which sucks because I want to play World of Warcraft now we can only play Isaac and I don't know why I don't, Arr, don't pop up on my screen Azus. I don't get why my controller is doing that whole uh, annoying thing oh actually you get a polyon if you have the expansion. So we'll go with Apollyon on hard mode with the void. So I haven't played this in forever, so you know, I don't expect it to be like a perfect run or anything right away. Because I haven't played in like forever. Also, is the game going slow or is it just like because I'm slow? I don't know, it just seems like everything's going slow. I don't know, I have an issue with the burning basement, and it might be because I have this, like, in big window mode instead of, like, small window mode. Let's see if we can find a bomb or anything in this poop. There is a tinted rock there, and to unlock some stuff, we're gonna need that tinted rock, but... Oh! A penny! Thank you for the penny. A penny for my thoughts, eh? You do not step on the creep, aka the blood that these enemies leave behind, because it will hurt you. And later floors, these guys actually turn into bonies, which then can shoot bones at you, and they can be annoying as all sin. Uh, anything in these fires? Nothing. Nothing as of right now. I don't know what the void does. We'll have to see what it does. We got ourselves a key. We'll save that for the next floor. For, like the item room. Let's. Uh, what button do I have? Oh, okay. Didn't I didn't seem to do anything. I don't really know what the void does. Like it's one of those items that I have never gotten on another character. Plus, I believe it's new with Afterbirth Afterbirth Plus because they added in that new boss where he's literally a mix of everything, and I love to get to him. But I haven't ever gotten that far. I don't play this game too often. Oh, the flaming jumping bodies are always scary. Because they take so much more, uh... So many more hits to kill. And Ooh, that was a champion that sprouted a key. A battery. Well, we just got our void fully charged. Still need to find our item room. We know where the shop is. I think our two main items that we need right now would be, uh, I'd say damage and speed. Maybe tears. Oh, the diglets. The diglets are here. Oh yeah, my girlfriend cannot deal with these guys. She does not like them at all. I don't know, it's like her, it's like her weakness in this game. There we go. Ah, oh, ooh, wait, I can get this money. Because these ones are behind flames. Yay. Money. Hey, little dingle. Wait, dingle? No, that's the big poop. Those are those are called dips. Get it? Like, dip beeps. Absolutely hilarious. But yeah, these games are kind of like based on Zelda and all. They're, they're, they're very fun. <gasps> yes, we got a bomb. And we got boomerang tears. Boomerang Tears isn't the worst thing in the world, it's just kind of a bad first item, honestly. Now we'll go and find that Tinted Rock. There we go. Oh, we got a bomb and a soul heart. Perfect. Even better than what I was hoping for. I'd go for those pills, but I only got one bomb. 
Pills can give you good stats and or bad stats. Well, not and, but or. Hey, Larry, Junior. Oh, my phone vibrated, so during the cutscene to the next floor, I guess I'll answer it. I'm gonna take my girlfriend to see Pirates of the Caribbean today since she loves that series. My dad loves it too. I'm not the biggest fan of it, oh, honestly. Like, I like it. It's not even close to one of my favorite movie series, though. Oh, hey, you dropped me money and poop. Normally, their poop doesn't really spawn much unless you have, um, that one trinket that makes it so poop drops more items. Petrified poop, I believe, is what the item is. Can you, like,. Dude, can you like hold still just so I can kill you? Like the lack of damage that Apollyon starts off with, it, you, it's clearly seen in this battle. And we got breakfast. So not a very good item. Like it gave us a health increase, but I don't think that's what we really needed. Oh no toilet paper, I've been there. Like actually recently too. <laughs> Okay, so we got Curse of Darkness, which makes it so it's really dark. Just play your cards right and you can deal with it. A blood bank, eh? You know what? Let's try blowing it up. All that for a half a red heart? Oh, that was that was a waste of a bomb. The shop. Wait, no, that's not shop. I was looking at the, the mini-map, not the actual screen. That's, I think, a bedroom? You can get, like, the black market and stuff there, which is cool, but... We don't have the... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Maybe we can check it out. Oh! Oh, oh, troll bomb. Just got a bunch of chests. And another darn troll bomb. Darn it, wrong button. Speed up, thank you. Okay, we're gonna take some damage here, but we can open it then. Uh -huh. Got our bomb back. So, and I don't know if it was nece necessarily worth it, but hey, we get our void again. Though I really don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to have like any special effect. Let's try it again. No, I don't. I didn't see it do anything. You guys can tell me what it does in the comment section below that'd be much appreciated now these episodes could be anywhere from like 10 minutes to an hour so you guys are in for a ride of a lifetime okay von poopiuses now to unlock the cellar what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to actually have to defeat all the bosses in the basement at least once and that includes defeating Gemini in reverse order like so if you defeat a Gemini I like the big part of it to the small part of it then you gotta beat the small part first and then the big part they count as separate separate entities apparently we got golden poop guys that means money so if we ever find a shop it'll be worth something or worthwhile I should say okay you so where my damage has gone up a little bit since I got boomerang tears but not a lot oh, dude can you thank you Oh, and we got another nickel. That is perfect. Right, you know, I'm going to show this one first. That way I can just, like... Never mind, my boomerang tears are kind of keeping him at bay. Lots of keys. And our item is... The poop. Really, the poop. The poop! So all you have to do is push that. Wait, what is... Consume. Actually... Does that mean it just like destroys items in the area? That could be what it does. There, spiders are some of the most annoying enemies in the game because they're so sporadic. Ow! I can't believe I took that. Uh, I got a text message, but I can't really answer it right now. Also, shop won't have really anything good in it because it's it's small. But whatever, we'll buy this. Hive mine, so if we, you know, ever. Uh, pill. I'll use my other bomb right here. Hopefully, destroy him and change it. Ooh, tarot card. 
Ooh, strength. That'll help if we get a, an annoying boss. Oh, and we got one of the annoying ones. Ah! That was not the way I planned for that to go. Come on, give me a damage up, dude. As you guys can clearly tell, that the damage up does help. Oh yeah, sometimes he can send out troll bombs. He can hurt himself with his own troll bombs, though. See? He spawned next to a troll bomb and it hurt him. He's not the hardest boss in the world. He's just a very gimmicky boss. And he kills himself. Monstro's tooth has appeared in the basement. Oh, and we got growth hormones, which is a speed and damage up. Beautiful. I'm not gonna answer that text. And the internet is still down. Like, ah, hang on a second, guys. My love you turned into lobe you because my freaking uh, what you Oh God, the added tentacle spiders. Like, so there's there's these triple shot spiders, and then there's ones that shoot just three, three dots in a row, and just, uh, oh, you know, I really don't understand what that does. It doesn't consume enemies. It doesn't. Maybe it like eats hearts, like in the battlefield or something. And since we're playing on hard mode, hearts will drop less. Yeah, see, these are bonies, and. If you're finding those guys that leave the tiny trail of creep behind, they can actually spawn uh, bonies. Starting on this floor, I believe. It might be the catacombs, or whatever you want to call it, the cave. No, this is the cave, so I believe it's the catacombs. Technically, where you fight Mom, which is going to be the first boss that we're going to deal with. I don't think we can get any further than that because this is a fresh file, but... Actually, I wanted to check this room, see what's in here. Nah, I don't think it's worth opening, just a basic chest. <clears throat> now, there are secret rooms, but we haven't really had the bombs to find the secret rooms yet. Whoa, you stretched out a lot. And that damage up didn't really do us much. Like, we're at three, but... Didn't really seem to benefit us that much. Yeah, see, there can't be a secret room here because there's, there's spaces. So yeah, these are the other spiders that I was talking about, the ones that shoot, like, three uh, tiers. And our item is Obsessed Fan. Hey, we got Hive Mind though, so he's bigger. <clears throat> and now what he does is he just follows your movements. Slowly, but he follows them. He does do a lot of damage to the enemy though, if you can actually get him to hurt them. It's just, he's not very oftenly gonna actually hit the enemy. Oh, this is a shitty situation. Hey, so these bigger ones, they're called... I forget, honestly, what their names are called. But there's Dips, and then there's... I know the boss is Dingle, then there's the other boss, Dangle, but... Yeah, see, we're still not doing a lot of damage to these poops. If you can't one-shot a Dip by this point, your damage is considered low. That's like how the Binding of Isaac players go by, like in damage meters. Not these guys, the little ones. See the little dips? They take two hits to kill. They normally always take two hits to kill, so... At this point, if you can't kill them in more than one hit, while well, you're doing weak damage. You are a weak sauce. Did I have a text message? I just didn't answer it. No. That was earlier. Uh, Bomb right here. See if any of these mushrooms have anything. Ooh, Liberty Cap. Our first trinket. Hmm. We'll just donate our money. Because we need to donate money to do stuff. So, now when we get more money, we'll just come back here and donate. Because it unlocks more items for us. Okay. These little, uh, cyst things will shoot, yeah, bloody tears at you. No, I'm not talking about the uh, Castlevania song either. Okay, well, that's annoying. The fact that my tears don't shoot far enough is gonna get me killed, you know? Darn, I went right into it. Oh, that's the champion one hitting me! 
Wait, there's nothing even in here, and I don't have a bomb to leave, though. Ah, oh, we died to it.